Hey guys, I'm Evan. Welcome to Country View Acres. So today I have a project that I want to build and I'm going to use this old wagon running gear to be the foundation of it. That way it's, it's, a, it's mobile and I can move it around. And what I'm going to be building is going to be a turkey roost, a mobile turkey roost. And it needs to achieve three things. It needs to give them shelter from the sun and from the rain. It needs to give them a place to roost up at night off the ground. And then it needs to be able to keep their food dry. So this running gear has a couple attachment points where you can bolt onto the back axle. And then there's a couple here on the front where we can attach as well. And that's what we're gonna build off of. So today I'm kind of winging this project. I have not planned anything out for it. The only thing I know is that I wanted to use this wagon running gear and I'm hoping that I can find enough material on site to be able to build a roost on top of it and then a roof and then somehow hang a feeder maybe in the middle. And I've got a bunch of old material that is over in the, in the old livestock barn. And we're gonna go over there and see if we can salvage enough stuff to be able to build this today. But before we do that, we did cook a brisket last night. We, we cooked it overnight, all night long, and then it has been resting now for like an hour. So it is ready for that brisket to be cut up. We're probably gonna eat it over the next few days, but uh, let's go ahead inside, cut up the brisket and see how it tastes. Tastes good. I'll feed us for a couple days. All right, that was pretty good. Let's see if we can go find something to make this roost out of. So when we build our log home, there's a bunch of wooden beams that we have left over. They're fairly long. I think these will work for a base. Just over 21 feet. Right there. Oh. It's free. So we've gathered up all of our two by fours that we have extra from past projects. And we've got about four 12 footers. I think they'll make a good roof. We've got a couple about 10 foot long and then we've got like seven that's eight foot long. And the trick is gonna be able to build this and not run out of boards. So trying to think about it pretty hard so that we don't run out. I think I've got an idea. We're gonna go ahead and start cutting it up, start putting it together.
All right, we're to the point of building the roof framing. Here, why don't you grab this in? I think it's harder to probably, this is higher, it's harder to grab. We got a bunch of corrugated metal from old buildings we torn down. That's what we're gonna use as the roof. Feels like it's like right there. Yep. So I think we've decided how to build the actual turkey roost. We've decided to do like a long roost from front to back. We're gonna end up with about five different places to roost in this section. And we decided to leave the front of the wagon somewhat empty because the way this wagon turns, if you look down here, we need enough clearance for this tire to be able to turn and not hit the roost. So that's why we ended up, I think we ended up about three and a half feet back um, from where we started the roost, just for the steering of the wagon. This wagon is a little different um, than a standard running gear. This, was a, this is actually for an anhydrous tank and it's got a whole different steering mechanism. That's why it's the way it is. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and put our long board on the other side, we're gonna start putting our roosts in the middle. And then after that, I think we're finally to the point of trying to lift that roof and put it on top. Uh, we're gonna get wet doing this now. I want a space in the back so their toes can curl around it, if that makes sense. So to hang the feeders, I just put a hook up underneath this beam right here on the edge. I put one on the other side as well so we can hang a feeder on each side. But the problem is with this roost above it, they may sit up here and they may poop down in their feeder, into their food. So we want to shield this. So I found a scrap piece of plywood. I think it's big enough, we'll see. Time will tell. But we're gonna put this over here. It's gonna it's gonna hang over just a little bit more and help shield that. So I think we're to the point where we can finally try to lift the roof up here and and mount it on top. I was a little concerned with only a single two before up here holding the roof on each side. So I did put a second one up here and uh, lag screwed that one in as well. So now there's two two by fours there, hoping that makes it just a little bit stronger. Um, time will tell, I guess. That roof's probably a lot heavier than what you think it is, but we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get it installed. Go ahead and turn to your right. See if we can straighten it up with the tractor. What'd you say? Rainbow. Double rainbow. Oh yeah, you can actually see it in the camera too. I see the first one. The second one's really hard to see. It's like above it right there. Yep. That means it's a good sign, right? We're gonna get this roof on without getting hurt. Everything's gonna go perfectly. Okay. Yeah.
<laughs> you wouldn't think they'd be that hard to get out of the ground. We've had that one out before. Oh, this one. That one's like really in the ground. Yeah. It's coming. Oh, there she is. We're on the side of a hill. What do you think? I think that's about the best we're gonna get. Yeah. It is a little bit slanted. We've got a few two by fours to chalk these wheels to keep it from rolling into the pond. <laughs> it better work. You guys act like you're starving. My goodness. Let me try to hang this thing up, will you? Can I hang this up? Look out, turkeys. Look out. Let's see if I can hang it on the hook. Come on. There we go. There you guys are. So we've decided to add two more hooks for water buckets to hang, and we're going to do that on the front where they're not under the roost. Well, I think this is gonna work out. I guess we just need to wait and see whether the turkeys actually get up here and roost. But they've been kind of huddled up at night, haven't they? Yeah, they've been roosting on top of each other. They look, <laughs> it looked like some big white creature out here last night, and it was because two or three were sitting on top of each other, so. Yeah, it looks like a pile up, you know, when like that football when they all get tackled. I mean, it's just, they, they, they form this big pile, sometimes two big piles of yeah. turkeys out here. And they just wouldn't wanting to stay out here and, um, and not in the tractor. They like to stay out here in the open. Yep. So I think we we're pretty lucky today that we were able to do this whole thing without having to go to the store and buy anything. We luckily we had enough stuff around, I guess. Yep. Yeah. We have a whole pile of this roofing material. Um, of course, it's kind of buried. We had to kind of try to drag it out from underneath but we'd saved a bunch of that from a bunch of the old barns we tore down mm -hmm. but i'm not real happy with the the roof like i don't think it's very secure let's put it that way i'm gonna have to probably go to the store at some point in time and buy some roof ties and put roof ties on there to secure that a lot better and um maybe even I don't know if those rift ties, I can probably put those rift ties even on this, this T that brace that goes across, try to secure that in case we do get a big wind. Honestly, this isn't probably something I want right next to our house in a storm. Yeah, well, luckily we're past tornado season. So. Yeah, now we're, we're heading into fall. Right. But there's still storms in the fall. But uh, yeah, I think there's a few more improvements we can do to it. But time will tell if all the turkeys can fit on really we yeah. got 21 turkeys and we'll have to see if they can all fit up here and roost there's still room where we can add more boards mm -hmm. across we just don't have any more now on the materials actually we did not have enough when we showed you that pile of wood we did not have enough we went and we scrounged around and we found like two or three more boards to be able to get this complete so it was more than i originally showed you in that stack but at least it's done, it's complete, and this is something that we can use next year and the year mm -hmm. after that, raising turkeys. So there's not enough room for them to get around that one feeder. Um, so I'm probably gonna end up adding a second one. We've got some homemade feeders that, that we've got that we use when we raise turkeys and chickens. We'll probably bring one of those out here, and we may just end up setting it on the ground, but I think they do need a second feeder. And now that they're out of the chicken tractor, it's ready, we're ready to move the meat, the meat chicken's out, mm -hmm. right? So they've been in the brooder too long, for sure. Yeah, they're fat and lazy. Just like meat chickens always are, fat and lazy. <laughs> but uh, 
they're getting awful fat for the brooder. We'll move them out here in a few days once we get some free time. And then all the birds will be out here together and all the, and it'll be a lot easier to do chores really because they're right next to the house. We can just kind of step out here and do the, the chicken chores sometime in the evening. And um, I think it actually has gone pretty well with them <laughs> right here. Yeah. So I think that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. What? What's that? <laughs> I put you up to closing out the video and you want to sucker punch me. I see how it is. <clears throat> what are you, a turkey? <laughs> You're roosting up there like a turkey. I'm showing them how it works. Come on. This actually seems like this would be like a fun ride. No, you know it what goes I mean? into the pond. Like, like put a, like a truck on the front of this and start bouncing down the road. I think I saw something like this on Facebook, but it was couches. And really? They, they took it to a NASCAR race or something. Okay. Yep. Yep. So it was like a bleacher of couches. Instead of a bleacher of turkeys? Yeah. Which one wants to be picked up? Well, that was easy. There you go, look. Show them how it's done. There you go. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? Oh, she just pooped on it. Immediately, like you put them on a roost. That was what, five seconds flat? Yeah. Boom, already dirtied it.